Hello everyone, in this video we are going to study about the local anesthetics. In this video we are going to cover the mechanism action of local anesthetic along with a little bit of chemistry. So these are the agents which prevent or release pain. So the mechanism by which the actors they interfere with the impulse conduction by acting on a specific site on sodium channels uh, and in this way they inhibit the entry of sodium ion inside the cell. The word local defines that the, their action is restricted to the site of application of this drug. Next, classification. This drug are divided into two broad categories depending upon application. So we have surface anesthetics and the second category is injectable anesthetics. The injectable anesthetics are again divided into three categories based on duration of action. So first class is short duration. They are low potency drugs. Example is procaine. The next category is intermediate duration. This drug have intermediate potency. Example lidocaine or we can also call it as an lignocaine. The third category is long duration or longer acting with high potency. Example is tetracaine and bupivacaine. Next is surface anesthetic divided into two categories, soluble and insoluble. The example of soluble are cocaine, lidocaine and tetracaine and the insoluble drugs are benzocaine. Next, the chemistry of local anesthetics. Uh, the specific structural requirement for local anesthetic is they have a lipophilic moiety which is attached with the linkage to the hydrophilic part. The lipophilic part is mainly aromatic ring and the hydrophilic part is mainly the amide group. Majorly tertiary, secondary or the quaternary amide group. These are joined with the two different kind of linkage. The first one is ester. The example of drugs are cocaine, benzocaine and tetracaine. These are hydrolyzed by choline esterase or any category of esterase enzyme. The next linkage is amide linkage. Example, lidocaine, bupivacaine. This lipophilic part that is aromatic structure is important to define the relationship between the structure and physicochemical properties. So if we increase the hydrophobicity, then the potency and duration is also increased because of increase in lipophilic nature. It will also increase the binding affinity for the receptor since uh, it is required by the receptor and it also increases the toxicity level of the drug. Then why we are targeting uh, specifically sodium channels? The reason behind that uh, is pain pathway. If we are pricked with the needle or accidentally uh, kept our leg on the needle, then it will initiate a series of pathways which uh, is comes under the pain pathway. So the sensory receptor at the periphery side conveys the message towards the brain and then brain again pass on the message. So this uh, conveying of message is in the form of action potential from one neuron to other neuron, specifically in peripheral neuron. So the, there are various uh, parts in uh, various phases in action potential starting with repul, uh, depolarization with the entry of sodium channel followed by opening of potassium channel. It leads toward the hyper repolarization and then hyperpolarization. So this action potential is initiated from the sodium uh, entry of sodium ion. So studying about the sodium channels. So I'm drawing sodium channel in three different states. First state is resting state in which the channel is closed. So therefore the sodium ion are not able to enter the intracellular space. Sodium ion are majorly extracellular ion. Then we have this second state, uh, state that is open state. So in this open state there is no barrier for entry of sodium ion because of central pore, channel pore is open so the sodium can easily travel inside the cell and can easily trigger the depolarization. Next state is after opening within a millisecond channel will get closed because of inactivation door or inactivation 
gate which is on the intracellular side it will keep the ion channel in an activated state so again the sodium are not able to enter the channel to study where the local anesthetic at we have to know the structure of sodium channel so sodium channel is an heterotimeric complex which is made up of beta 1 alpha and beta 2 subunit each having different molecular uh, size it is mentioned in kilo dalton then um, the specifically important subunit is alpha subunit which consists of four homologous domain uh, which is given in roman domain 1 2 3 and 4 each domain have different linkage and different specific sites each of this domain are consist of six different uh, six different transmembrane segments or transmembrane alpha helix and each having different characteristics starting with the fourth segment or fourth alpha helix it contain an voltage sensor so every time when action potential arrives it sends the change in the threshold and uh, open the channel accordingly then the next is central pore which is formed by uh, fifth and sixth subunit uh, segments of each domain then next important part is an activation gate which is mainly formed by domain 3 and domain 4 this is also a site for local anesthetics to bind so in this domain 3 and 4 we have local anesthetic which is binding towards the specific amino acid sequence moving towards the working and mechanism of local anesthetic action so in this i am drawing a different state that is resting and transition state of sodium ion channels voltage sensitive sodium ion channel so first in inactivation state because uh, in resting state the door is closed the pore is closed therefore sodium ion are not able to travel inside the cell but as soon as the stimuli um, comes so it will trigger the second uh, it will trigger the pathways different pathways and due to which there uh, is activation of secondary messenger which further activate protein kinase C which phosphorylate the amino acid sequence on inactivation gate so it causes opening of this inactivation gate due to which the sodium which is at extracellular site can easily move inside the cell as the channel pore is open because of the uh, because of phosphorylation of inactivation gate so this phosphorylation is necessary so uh, this local anesthetic which is lipophilic can easily cross the membrane barrier and uh, it it get converted into protonated form because of ph of intracellular fluid and this protonated form bind to a particular amino acid and uh, prevent the protein kinase C activity so there will be no phosphorylation and no opening of intracellular gates therefore no entry of sodium therefore there is no further uh, pain pathway activation or stimulation of pain pathway does it prevents the activation of pain pathway from the peripheral nerves along with this local anesthetic do have undesirable effect because of blockage of other sodium channel at other sites apart from peripheral nerve so starting with the cns it mainly causes inhibition of inhibitory neuron that is gaba so stimulation is followed by depression so we have restlessness tremor and along with the conversion specifically clonic type of conversion followed by we have depressive state which is specifically at and respiratory center so it can again cause death if the drug is taken in higher concentration next if undesirable effect is on cvs it decreases the activity of cs therefore lidocaine can be used as an antiarrhythmic drug because of this action and we have action on smooth muscle it causes relaxation of almost all smooth muscles followed by action on neuromuscular junction we do know that neuromuscular junction activity is under the control of ACH so if we are blocking the ACH mediated depolarization then it will cause relaxation then the effect of pH on local anesthetics 
so this local anesthetics are slightly soluble therefore they are more marketed in salt and water soluble form they have pka between 8 to 9 so they are unprotonated outside or extracellular side but as soon as it enters the cell it become protonated so this is the chemistry mechanism of local anesthetic thank you if you understand the concept then please like and share the video